as you see, things are rather quiet, nice and January grey, so to say. But trust me, in the summer it's a completely different story. This place is full of boats going one way or the other, and uh, it's really, really busy. So right now there's not very much action. We'll just have a quick uh, glance around and see. There you see Nemo on the left, um, while well, it's now center left, moving towards the center. And right at the left you have this block that contains the conservatory and the library and houses, shops and all that stuff. Okay, so when we come back here and uh, they see a replica ship, I don't know if it's a VOC ship, but uh, I should know that, but I don't. Um, and this is the Schaepfart Museum. So this is going to be the setting for our action, because just as they say uh, nature abhors a vacuum, well, a narrative needs something to brighten it up, and all we have is grey. So what we're going to do is, uh, it's pretty simple, I'll sort of lay down a... Uh, a platform you can fill in the rest. So we start with this museum. You see the words Het Schaepfart Museum. So the window above that. So you're looking at this window and there's this sudden flash and milliseconds after that the glass explodes out into the open. The sun is incredibly bright so all the pieces sparkle. And then seconds after that a man jumps out and he's wearing a purple cape. And it's really good to get that cape in your mind, you know, fluttering as he sort of goes down. And then from the um, tunnel that you see slightly to the left behind the post comes this self-propelled pair of uh, water skis. And they zoom up and they zoom up to sort of the middle of that building just in the water there. And the guy in the purple cape lands on this machine. There's a group of tourists who are gasping. They're completely amazed. They don't know what's happening. They're hearing alarm bells going off. And the guy looks at them and smiles, and he says, my name is Bondios, James Bondios. And then he zooms off, he zooms off, he zooms off all the way to the left and disappears around the corner. And by the time the authorities come, the guy's gone. He's just a memory. And... Uh, so with that memory of James Bondios making a tremendous escape, also armed with the knowledge that in tomorrow's papers there'll be an article of how some bad guys were found bound, battered and bruised in the Schaepfart Museum and how a dastardly deed was uh, avoided thanks to James Bondios. Oh, we've got a bit of a goodie here. Um, I said it's nice and quiet. Well, here's one of those larger boats making its way. It's just come under the bridge. And so we'll watch it disappear. And we have, oh, we have three boats. We've got our tourist boat, quite empty, Princess Alexia. Then we have a boat called the Wellmut. That's the one sort of hanging around, waiting for the bigger boat. I think the general law is the bigger the boat, <laughs> the bigger the boss. So you have right of way with a nice big boat. And with a small boat, you simply have to wait and, uh, you know, get out of the way. Uh, so here's Wellmut, well-dressed uh, captain. He actually looks a bit like a chef. Maybe, maybe it's... Um, one of those combi boats. I mean, they're drinking beer. Is the kid drinking beer? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> they think, hey, it's Amsterdam. Anything is possible. So the kid is drinking beer. You've seen it here for the first kids drinking beer. The world is changing. <laughs> okay. Um, as that big boat uh, slowly makes its way around the corner, the same corner where James Bondios escaped, that's the name, remember the name, James Bondios, very important person. Uh, he, he guards our freedom, and he's not afraid of anything except for um, ants. He gets scared when he sees ants, but other than that, he's really an incredible hero. So on that note, it's uh, live from me.